Go. Hi guys, this is Molly Galbraith with mollygalbraith.com and Girls Gone Strong. I'm here to answer a reader question that I got about barbell hip thrusts. A woman named Rebecca wrote in and said that she's been doing hip thrusts um, and she's graduated from wanting to just use the bar to wanting to use weight that's a little bit heavier, but she's not quite ready to go to 135 and she's kind of afraid to bend over and try to pick up the bar and put it on her lap and so she's having a hard time um, using smaller plates and getting them over, over her lap. So I wanted to give her a couple of different options. Um, number one would be to uh, look for bumper plates. We've got these bumper plates at our gym. They're the same diameter as a 45 pound plate but they're only 10 pounds. So it's a really good option if you want to use more than 45 pounds. Um, for example, this bar is loaded with 65 right now. If I had two on there, it'd be 85. Um, so that's one really good option for her. Another option would be to get really strong at a barbell glute bridge um, kind of in the interim. So the barbell glute bridge is the same as a hip thrust, but you're laying on the ground um, with the, the barbell going across your hips. And so the range of motion isn't as large or as great. Um, so once you get to be really strong at the barbell glute bridge, sometimes that can bridge the gap between using 45 pounds on a hip thrust and using 135. For example, um, before I ever did hip thrusts, I got really proficient at barbell glute bridges and was, you know, glute bridging 225 for reps. So 135 was no problem the first time that I tried um, hip thrusts. The third option um, to challenge her a little bit more without necessarily having to add weight would be to do a single leg hip thrust. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that really quickly. You get in the same position as you would for a regular hip thrust, but you're um, going to just use one leg. So position yourself on the bench, go ahead and lift one leg in the air, and drive up. And these are really challenging. Okay, most of you won't be able to go quite as far, and that's fine. You want to make sure your pelvis isn't shifting around all over the place. But a single leg glute bridge, we have a lot of uh, women who can, who can hip thrust um, over 200 pounds with two legs, but when you take them to single leg, they really, really struggle with it. Um, the third option would be using some other implements. We do a lot of group classes at J&M Strength and Conditioning, which is my gym in Lexington, Kentucky, and we don't always have enough barbells for a class of 20. So a lot of times our um, clients will use chains for their hip thrusts. So, and I meant to call that a single leg hip thrust earlier, not a single leg glute bridge. Um, a lot of times we'll have the women load themselves, women, women, women and men load themselves up with chains. So these chains are 20 pounds a piece. Just kind of drape them over your hips. I mean, I could easily load 60, 80, 100 pounds of chain on and do it the exact same way as you would a barbell. The other nice thing about the chains is because they're deloaded on the ground at the bottom, the weight gets heavier on the way up. So that's another way that you could challenge yourself a little bit more because you don't, you're not having to lift the whole weight the entire way. Um, that's another cool variation. You can use chains. You can use, you know, a, um, a weight vest and drape that over your over your hips, whatever um, you want to do. And then finally, um, she was saying she didn't want to reach over and like lift the bar up um, with her arms and back. What I find, and again, this is a lighter barbell, but even with 135, 225, I've used 315, you can kind of, don't have to lift it up with your arms, you lift it up just high enough to where it clears the knees, and then kind of use your legs to lift it up and roll it over. Um, I haven't really had any problems with that, my clients haven't seemed to have any problems with that, so that's another option that she can try. So, we've got the lighter bumper plates, we've got um, getting really strong at barbell glute bridges with your back on the ground, we've got the single leg, um, hip thrust that I demonstrated earlier. You can use other types of weighted implements instead of a barbell and you can just kind of maneuver it over your legs and use your legs to pick the weight up so you're not having to use your arms and back. And finally, um, one tip that I wanted to add for hip thrusts that we find are um, really, really important in our gym. A lot of people tend to hyper extend at the top. So I'll show you from this position. A lot of our clients have a tendency to come up and hyper extend at the top. And so they're getting a lot of extension through their lumbar spine instead of just through their hips. So one tip that we give them is to brace their core. And a really good way to get them to do that is to take a big deep breath before they go, blow all their air out, think about getting their ribs down, bracing their core, and then doing their hip thrust. So it looks something like this. So you can see at the top, I'm not nearly as high as I was here. That means from here, to here, that's all lumbar extension instead of hip extension. So that's a cue that we like to use to make sure people are using their glutes, 
that they're getting the range of motion from the right place, and that they're getting the most out of their hip thrust. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, Molly Galbraith at mollygalbraith.com and Girls Gone Strong.